Hey guys, it's George. Welcome back to my channel. Or, welcome to my channel. If you're new, you're probably here because you love Starbucks. And with that being said, I have quite the video for you today. I'm sharing with you my first experience ever visiting the original Starbucks in Seattle, Washington on Pike Place Street, AKA Pike Place Market. Pike Place, guys, if you ever wonder like what the Pike Place roast is at Starbucks or like why Pike Place, it's because of this location. So I'm super excited to share with you not only my experience checking out this store for the very first time, but also I dropped some money at the Starbucks. Um, Starbucks is not sponsoring this video. Starbucks, if you're watching this, I, I, I hope you know, maybe one day you'll consider sponsoring me because um, I have an addiction. It is not okay. And you're gonna completely understand after you see what I have in this bag. I dropped hundreds, guys. It's, yeah. But I have some really cool stuff to share with you. So we're gonna consider this video a, let's check out the original Starbucks and a Starbucks haul. So if you're interested, grab yourself a snack, perhaps a Starbucks beverage and keep on watching. This is my first impression of visiting the OG Starbucks in downtown Seattle, Washington. As you can see, there is not a line, not a soul in the store. It is empty and uh, that is because it's closed. We had no idea that it was closed on this day, but we ended up coming by the next day, so no problem. I did, on the other hand, already start my window shopping. This location had tons of merch and uh, I got like 90% of it. Next day, and we were in line waiting to get into the OG Starbucks. It took about 30 minutes, but honestly, it was totally worth it if you ask me. And our overall experience was just incredible. Everyone that worked here was super nice. This is a plaque just basically indicating the establishment. And then we have exclusive drinks here only for this location. The chocolate covered strawberry and toasted praline nitro. Uh, not really my cup of tea of drinks, but hey, if you like sugar and sweets, totally for you. All right, now let's start the perusing. There was so much Starbucks merchandise for Pike Place. It was overwhelming. And honestly, the vibe of everything was super cool because all of the color concept was very like, vintage antique and just kind of like a patina look which is aged and this bottle this water bottle i i'm just gonna tell you right now i got this it says the first starbucks on it and it just looks like something you'd find from like the 1920s or something i don't know but i loved it here's an overall look of their drink menu food menu the barista station and all of that good stuff this is some coffee beans and it just smelled so good there was even a pig that was covered in coffee beans. So Seattle downtown is like known for their pigs. And to pay respects, we have a quote here from Mr. Howard Schultz, the founder of Starbucks. This past holiday, I visited Seattle, Washington for the very first time to finally meet my partner's family. It was an amazing trip and everything was just completely like way better than expected. And then I found out that the first Starbucks is in Seattle. So aside from like visiting the Seattle area, knowing that the actual first Starbucks is there made it a goal of mine to visit. So there's plenty of things I wanted to see. I want to see Mount Rainier. I wanted to, you know, see the Pike Place Market. I did also want to see uh, Leavenworth and a bunch of other like Washington monuments. And um, let me just tell you, Starbucks was on the list, of course. I mean, as a Starbucks lover, a Starbucks connoisseur is what I like to call myself. I would be out of my mind to not visit the first ever Starbucks location. It took us like 30 minutes to even get in the store because there was such a long line. Like when I tell you this is a destination, it's a destination. People line up outside the store to get in, get their purchases done. And I'm pretty sure it's probably not like the locals Starbucks to go to just because like, 
you have to wait to get in. Aside from the state of the world that we're in right now, this Starbucks, there's always a line to get in. So I was happy to wait, check it out. I literally took my time in the store as much as I possibly could because I didn't want to be rude to the people waiting out in the cold because it was quite cold there. Um, but I took my time browsing. There was little sheets of paper of all the items. So like you weren't allowed to like take things from the shelf and bring it to the register. You actually had to like pick out things you wanted and remember it or take a picture or whatever. And when you're checking out, that's when you place your order and say, I want that. So there was tons of things, very unique things too, that stood out to me. A lot of this stuff was just like marketed as Pike Place, not just Starbucks or uh, as the Been There series or Was Here series, uh, cups are dedicated towards certain locations. A lot of the things were just like Pike Place. So that was, that was pretty cool to see that a lot of these Pike Place products, you could only get there. So that was nuts. Of course, that's like why I stocked up. So let's get into it. With that being said, guys, I'm going to stop ranting. We'll talk more about this as we're unboxing everything. But just keep in mind, um, I just put everything in one giant bag. And uh, throughout my, my trip to Washington, I stopped at many Starbucks and got, you know, a Seattle mug here and a Washington product there. And uh, I went nuts, guys. I, I spent hundreds of dollars worth of Starbucks merchandise and coffee if you know, of course, I'm getting my, my drinks throughout the, the day and um, Yeah, I'm nuts. You probably think I'm crazy But for those of you that don't think I'm crazy and you love Starbucks Please subscribe to my channel because I talk about it quite often on this page I have a dedicated like Starbucks coffee station at my house and I decorate Starbucks for Christmas I'm I'm I am crazy I'm just, I'm gonna, reel, I'm gonna reel in for a second. Okay, let's continue to the unboxing. First and foremost, let's take a look at what is in this box right here. So a lot of the things, fridge relay, uh, come already boxed up. Cause like I said, you don't just pick things off of the shelf when you're shopping there. You have to go up to the register and say, I want that. And um, yeah, it's nuts. So this is, I believe a water canister. So I like to, of course, be sustainable. So I get water, holders all the time, mainly from Starbucks. And this one just stood out to me because I have a black and a, oh, oh wait, this is a different one. <laughs> so the, this one, it's a water canister, but this is a, a glass one. Look how beautiful this is. Are you kidding me? So the vibe that this is giving is definitely old world. Like I see this and I literally think of like 1912. Like, you know when glasses had this type of coloring to it, just very aged and very much that vibe. Uh, that's, that's what I'm getting from this aesthetic. So it says 1912, Pike Place. And then on this side, it says the first Starbucks store. Very cool. Very, very sick. Um, this little tag right here. Recycled glass water bottle. Very cool. So I, I love just bringing my water bottles with me everywhere I go. I bring these to the gym. Um, this is This is pretty sick. There's no straw in there. It's just paper. So I don't know what's up with that. That's actually one thing I do want to mention. So I'm from Pennsylvania here on the East coast. We were slowly, but surely like working on being more sustainable. So you pull like you're crazy of a straw. I recycle my straws. I also reuse my straws. I put them in the dishwasher. So judge that we don't have the type of straws that are sold at, uh, at least Washington. They're all, I think they're not paper, but it's a very unique type of material. Like I was opening up the straw and like from the paper and just like snapping it and it broke off a piece of the straw. So whatever material they use for the straws, like on the West coast, we need to bring that over here because it was definitely like, there was something about it that was a lot more, I'm sure like ethically sourced and clean and all of that good stuff. So this is the first piece of side water bottle. And just like I was uh, ranting about a water bottle before I open up this, we have another one right here. So I actually have two metal ones, one black, one silver, and now we have a bronzy looking one. So this, this beautiful brown is kind of like, I don't know, it's, uh, I would say the same aesthetic as this, but solid. And this does have the original Starbucks logo right there. So that's what the logos look like at the Starbucks. They didn't look like the kind of like modernized siren they look more like this which i personally like the old world aesthetic a lot better and it does say the first starbucks store pike place market seattle washington 
right there. So this is also another piece that you could only get at this location. So I freaking love that. And honestly, I have not seen any Starbucks products in this color anywhere else. So I could be wrong, but at least here within the Scranton, Philadelphia area, I've seen nothing like this. So I'm very excited to add this to my collection. And of course, I got some beans from the Starbucks location. What I plan on doing, this is just your, your basic Pike Place coffee beans. I plan on after using this, just uh, framing, <laughs> framing the bag and having it in my, my coffee station area because you know who would not want a Starbucks coffee bag from the actual OG Starbucks, like in their Starbucks collection. I do, okay, I'm crazy, but whatever. So that's it, that's the aesthetic. I never see them that look like this in the store at least. So I was like, okay, cool, we need that. And it actually has a picture right there of the Starbucks OG store. You're probably also seeing lots of cat hair just floating around, so please judge me kindly. I have five cats and I've been uh, playing with them nonstop since I got back from Seattle because I missed them so much. So yeah, there's lots of cat hair we've got to deal with. Um, next up, I have this little bag right here and you can get these, I think they're sold everywhere, but of course this is one just dedicated to Washington. I believe these are for gift cards, but since I do decorate for the holidays, Starbucks wise in my kitchen, I, um, I'm gonna be using this for the holiday. The Ben There series for Washington has such cool pictures on it. I mean, we have a grizzly bear, there's a goat, there's Bigfoot. I didn't know this, but Washington has a lot of Bigfoot sightings, also a lot of UFO sightings. So if you're into like supernatural stuff, that's pretty cool to know. And I just love how they actually honor Bigfoot, Sachimo, Sasquatch, that is so freaking cool. So um, you're gonna be seeing that a lot with some of these pieces. So we got this. These are $8.95. So, I mean, if you have the, the spare money, this is a really cool, you know, ornament for your tree or just out on a shelf as a piece of art. Why not? It's ceramic, good quality. And uh, let's see. Next up, we have these pins right here. The Pike Place pins. Hopefully there's no glare and you guys can make them out. But this was a little pricey. They were $24.95. And we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five pins and they're really cool. They're like old school looking, very vintage looking and I like the color concept they use. We have the Starbucks sign, the OG Starbucks, a pig, the siren and a picture of the OG store. So very sick. These that were way pricier than I would have expected but um, luckily my partner was like, we're gonna get those. I want the pig one. Seattle, like the Pike Place Market, there's a lot of pig stuff it's a little weird, but they have, they even have like a uh, pig in this Starbucks with made out of beans, coffee beans. Um, yeah, it was, that was quite unique, but I, I got the vibe because there's a lot of that going on in Seattle. They, they really respect their pigs. So, uh, anywho, we also got these postcards right here. So it's wrapped up very nicely. We have it looking old school with this like faux leather type of faux. And this is a picture of the first Starbucks right there. This is what the back looks like. It comes with one, two, three, four. So hopefully you can make that out. I'm not ready to open this up yet. So that's that's the view that we're gonna get. And uh, they're just very simple. Like one is a siren, Rachel the piggy bank. Rachel the piggy bank, do you see that? That's what it says right there. So I'm guessing the pig's name is Rachel. Um, cool, so we have postcards. These were $12.95, so not too bad. Comes to four of them. I don't know what I'm gonna use these for. Maybe I'll like put them in my, my Starbucks Christmas tree. Um, I'm gonna have to get a bigger one because I got lots of ornaments going on here. We got that, guys. Next up, I got a bear. So this is the Barista. Um, I have not seen these anywhere. Every now and then, like you'll see stuff in the Starbucks stores, like your local ones. But uh, this one does have the old school type of logo right there. And looks like it's new material only, content polyester. That's like just a little sign on the back, but there's a 360 moment of the bear. I like the fabric that they used. Very cool, love the vintage vibe. And it even smells like the Starbucks. Oh, I had to wear a mask in there. So I couldn't get the full like 
aroma, but let me tell you, I still smell the coffee beans. Like you walk into that Starbucks, you walk past it and you can just get the Starbucks smell. Like it smells so beautiful. Oh, it was, it was dreamy, but this is a Starbucks limited edition barista bear pike place for ages three and up guys, three and up. So you can get this for the children and uh, it's not just for us adults, but it does say Starbucks coffee, 173rd company. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna look into it. So it's pretty cool. We love this. Next up, I have some ornaments here. So these are, I have three ornaments, which I notice a lot of these Starbucks are, they're doing these every single year. Um, this one is just, I believe the Washington ornament. And I think this is glass. Yeah, it sounds like glass, but this is what the Ben There series cup looks like. So it's gonna have all the exact same artwork on here as the cup does so we're gonna get to the cups last and uh yeah very cool i kind of like how it's see-through so when you put it on your tree you can see the lights through it so it's pretty sick i also got uh another one from pike place so this is they wrapped it up for me very nicely which think <laughs> thankfully they did because um it would probably break if they didn't <laughs> i also have another one that looks pretty much the exact same but from pike place i like how they wrapped it up so before i get into opening it check out the wrapping very cute and uh, this one is going to have the exact same artwork on it that you're going to see on the Pike Place Bend Their Cup. But regardless, let's, let's take a look here. Ooh, there it is. So that's the, the tag. And this is cardboard. Very cool. And uh, it does say Pike Place right there. Very neat. So this is all the type of emojis, whatever you want to call these art look, art pieces on the cup and uh so same aesthetic in case you're wondering they are 7.95 so i got uh another one at a rest stop that i stopped at on our way home and it's this is not from the original starbucks but this is from a rest stop this was 8.75 so i got this one for 8.75 which is kind of like i mean it's cute i like the ombre red and green but it's a little basic compared to the 795 one i don't know why they decided that price but whatever um those are the three ornaments that i got now we have four been there series cups so brace yourself i collect these i have so much and uh, my partner and i in the process of moving we just bought our first home and i have within my coffee station a like clear glass cabinets so i plan on displaying them there and I'm super excited about it. I mean, this is practically fine china. They are 15 bucks a piece and um, they deserve to be shown off. So I'm liking the box in case you want to see what it looks like. There's a box that's orange on the bottom. Um, this is a rarity. I actually never seen any of them come with an orange box. I usually see like blue or green. So that was pretty cool. And this is the Pike Place Cup. So again, you can only get these Been There Series cups at the actual locations. Every now and then I'll see like nearby states at rest stops and um, rest stops only actually I ever see that happen at. So if you're looking for other states, but you don't want to visit that state, maybe stop at like a highway rest stop and you'll catch different state ones there. Anywho, this is the Pike Place. I'm loving that it's green. The only other green cup that I have is the Pennsylvania one, which I love, but check out the artwork here. So we have a lot of Pike Place things like fish. There's a guitar because they're really big into art. There's flowers, the public market sign, 1912. And oh, there's there was a gum wall that unfortunately I didn't make it to, but they have a sign that says gum wall. And a lot of like fishy stuff because the market, the market has tons of fish everywhere. Um, that's when the mask came in handy because I didn't have to smell that. So Pike Place Market Cup. You guys, I'm super excited. Like it, out of all the Ben There series cups, like this, this is the best. Like this is this is the one to have because it's the OG Starbucks. Are you kidding me? Like, hello. Next up, we have another Ben There series cup. Um, like I said, this is the color they typically come in, like this powder blue. I love this color, but that orange is quite unique. We have the Washington cup, and this is the same artwork that's on the ornament, um, just like the Pike Place one. But I I just love. The cups i like the green they incorporated yellow in there but you'll see the grizzly like i was talking about 
the Bigfoot. You'll see a lot of nature stuff, camping stuff, a lot of uh, water activities like a canoe and evergreen, the Bigfoot, whale watching, uh, evergreens. <laughs> I mean, there's just honestly so much on here that I love. This is probably going to be like one of my favorite Starbucks cups ever. And it was a, a very beautiful trip and meeting my partner's family for the first time. So aside from these being like Starbucks memorabilia, it's just special to me for that purpose too. So I'm very happy. Correction though. I'm sorry. These are not $14.95. They're actually $12.95. So they're still, I mean, with come tax, they're, they're up there. Either way, I mean, per cup. That's quite expensive. So when I'm saying fine china, I mean it. But also these are quite durable. So that's another good thing to keep in mind as well. You know, it's not just a glass and if you drop it, it's gonna break. Like I've had scares and unfortunately they're all intact. So we have two more here. I'm thinking this one might be a duplicate because I did buy two of the Pike Place, one for my best friend that is also obsessed with Starbucks as much as I am. Yep, that's it right there. But again, the orange bottom, which is super important, but we have another one, the very last one. This is going to end the Starbucks ultimate haul, because let me tell you, this is definitely the ultimate haul. Name a better one. Drop it in the comments. I'm not trying to brag. Actually, I want I wanted to make sure I said that at some point. I'm not in any way trying to be boastful about this. I'm just a huge Starbucks lover and I appreciate the brand. I love the brand. I like all their morals, standards. They're very helpful within the community and they're also just iconic. So of course, um, yes, yeah, so I want to make sure I mention that. This is where like I didn't buy basic souvenirs while I was visiting. I bought Starbucks souvenirs. So that's, that's why you're seeing a lot here. Now we have the Seattle cup. There's a lot of similar things on here that are on the Washington one, but there's a few things that are not like the space needle is on here and that's not on the Washington cup. You'll see a laptop city of goodwill. It says right there. There's Mount Rainier. There is the first Starbucks. Let's picture of that. I don't know why there's a laptop on there. I have no clue like what that is all about. So like there's some things on these been there series cups that I'm always like, okay, so like what, what does that mean? Like why, why do they have that on there? So it's kind of cool to see like each one of these cups from that state or city symbolizes something. Obviously. But yeah, that's something that I, I like about these cups because it makes you appreciate the location a little bit more because it shows you like what's, what's important to, to that community. So I love that. All right, you guys, that is it. That is my Starbucks haul. Oh my gosh, this has been such an amazing experience and I'm super happy that I was able to film it and also share everything with you guys. And again, I'm not sponsored by Starbucks, but Starbucks, again, if you were watching this, please, uh, you know, I may not have a huge following, but I appreciate and admire your brand. So, hey, I'm, 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 op I'm open to, you know, working on something together. Let's, let's collaborate. Also, if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love your company. Click the notification bell because what that's going to do by clicking the bell, you'll be notified when I upload new content, obviously. So if you want to stay in touch, click the bell and that's pretty much it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video until next time. And as always say, thanks, give compliments and think positive. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.